So the newest Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack N64 Games Update just got announced late last night, where we now know that Excite Bike 64 is the next game in the holster headed to the NSO expansion pack subscription service. And I will say that this is good news on multiple fronts because if you've been around on the channel, keeping up with videos, you may know, I've had some major concerns recently with the lack of N64 game edition consistency because at one point in time, you probably remember shortly after the expansion pack was revealed, we saw one new N64 game per calendar month without fail from Nintendo. We then most recently went through a drought of four full months with no new N64 game announcements. That of course was broken with the addition of Pokemon Stadium 2, a huge win that was revealed at the Pokemon Pokemon Presents, in addition to Pokemon Trading Card Game going live for the Game Boy family of systems. But then the question becomes, does Nintendo just really ramp down the support and the update frequency around N64, and we are instead seeing them pull that unpredictability card that Nintendo loves to do, where for the first time, we will actually have two separate N64 games go live on the service in the same calendar month. As you can see the following post over on X from Nintendo of America, which reads, want to get some serious air, race across 20 tracks and set the daredevil inside you free in Excitebike 64 coming to Nintendo Switch for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members on August 30th. The ad they came up with for the game was great because it had that 90s throwback commercial style, which I really love to see. Believe it or not, for me, Excite Bike was a game that I did not own in my N64 collection, so I spent a lot more time in games like Wave Racer 64, but I only have very vague memories of playing Excite Bike 64 over at friends' houses, so I'm excited to hop into this one when it does drop later this month, and I also think this signals the new possibility around Nintendo potentially ramping up the rest of the N64 games roadmap because the big concern is is whether or not we walk into this supposed September Nintendo Direct where we oftentimes see new updates for NSO and by the way I am not expecting any kind of massive new console announcements definitely don't expect things like GameCube to be unveiled at this event but I do think that there is a shot that we could see something like a updated N64 games roadmap because so far we still are missing Mario Party 3 and 1080 snowboarding from the existing N64 games roadmap that was revealed at the September Direct last year. And you might remember my initial concern with that Direct presentation because the word gradually was used whenever Nintendo said that they would be adding N64 games. And that felt to me like the signal that they would start to slow down on their update cadence with this library of classic games and of course we saw them do that skipping four months at one point without any new n64 games and now we are in this environment where we don't know whether it's going to be n64 or game boy advance or potentially even both as that is now on the table due to the fact that we finally have a month where multiple n64 games are getting added at the same time and would they do something in september where they add mario party towards the beginning of the month and 1080 snowboarding at the end and then we're pretty much caught up on everything that they've announced and hopefully we're gonna see a trailer for something like Smash Bros, Banjo-Tooie, Donkey Kong 64, Diddy Kong Racing, maybe a bunch of beloved N64 games that are still missing from the announcement roadmap so far could get added at a September Nintendo Direct, not to mention Game Boy Advance while building out its library slowly still has a ton of classic games that could be announced at an upcoming September Direct as well and I personally am expecting good things for the service from here and you just have to hope that Nintendo doesn't forget about any of the library of systems that they should be updating as part of this ongoing subscription service. It is still a big frustration of mine that we are locked into a 12 month option in terms of the payment with the expansion pack and we don't have any official communication from Nintendo around when to expect new games. That said, whenever they speed up their updates instead of pulling them back, it is definitely a good signal, good sign if you will, but there's still no guarantee that we won't go another stretch of multiple months without seeing any support for one of the biggest draws for the expansion pack, which is the N64. The last question in today's video around what Nintendo might do with NSO from here has to do a little bit with DLC, because you might realize that we are fastly approaching the end of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass waves, as we should see a trailer at the September Nintendo Direct for Wave 6, 
Pass, which will be the final wave. We should expect two more characters to be added in. There's some talk about Pauline being one of the final two racers, according to some information and leaks online. Who it is remains to be seen. I cannot wait to dive into the final round of tracks, and I hope that DK Mountain is one of the final GameCube tracks that will be in Wave 6. But past that, that was another big expansion pack selling point, and Nintendo likes to do something to really drive home the value of why you should be subscribed to Nintendo Switch Online at the September Nintendo Direct, primarily because that is when the majority of the annual memberships will be expiring, because since Nintendo Switch Online was a thing, We've primarily seen big updates happen at that September showcase outside of the addition of the Game Boy family of systems, surprisingly showing up at the February Direct. But the idea is, is if you are in a 12 month subscription starting in something like October, well, you want to remind people why they need to re up their subscription and stay subscribed for another full year. And you remind them by driving home some kind of big value add. And so whether or not we see some kind of new DLC announced at a September Nintendo Direct, I'm looking at you, Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe we do get DLC for that game, maybe we don't, but I think that it would make sense to add in some kind of additional DLC pack that's not a part of the expansion pass today. Maybe they even go back like they did for the Splatoon 2 DLC and they throw the Smash Bros. Fighter Passes from top to bottom, every single character as part of the expansion pack. I think they're gonna do something on the DLC front, and I hope that we continue to see more support and maybe multiple GBA and N64 games added in, and maybe we get into something of a more regular update cadence for NES, SNES, even Sega Genesis as part of the expansion pack and Game Boy family of systems across the board. If they rotate all the systems correctly, this could be a no brainer service at all times. But if they do drop the ball and they go multiple months without giving us any kind of communication or updates, then you really have to question what you're getting for your $50 annual price point of the expansion pack subscription or your $20 annual price point for the base tier. And I am just hoping that Nintendo makes it a no brainer decision for people to remain subscribed and not have us looking around questioning why we're still paying them money month in and month out or once a year if you're signed up that way for their online subscription service program but i really want to hear from you guys at this point in the video your personal thoughts and opinions around the latest announcement of excite bike 64 being the next n64 game headed to the service are you excited for this game to finally be playable at the end of this month are you surprised to see Nintendo come out with Pokemon Stadium 2 and Excite Bike 64 in the same month? And do you think that this sets any kind of precedent that we may see them do multiple N64 games or multiple GBA games in a single month from here? And bonus question, what unannounced games from any system that is currently supported as part of Nintendo Switch Online do you want to see added into the service next? And do you think that that will indeed happen at the upcoming September Nintendo Direct that we should be fairly safe to expect to take place this year. But regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already, which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.